Hi guys, welcome back to my weekly readings. I trust you guys had a wonderful week and are gearing up for the new one. Today we're going to visit the energies that may affect us from the week of August the 27th through to September the 3rd, I think it is. Um, I don't believe we're already approaching the end of the year. It's flown by. I'd like to thank all you guys for your likes, your shares, your comments. I do read them all. Um, your donations, the readings, I appreciate it. it. It is very helpful for me to continue my work. Today the channeled message, of course, is to go deeper within the self, to discover your higher self, to become more connected to the divine. On this channel particularly, I don't really focus on uh, the lucky numbers or love because truly love comes from within. It's loving the self that will attract the mate that you are looking for. It's all about development of the spiritual self. Finding that, that thread, that common thread that you have with the divine. and the channel is going to get deeper and deeper into that as I can see the direction that the readings have been going here lately it's all about development of self and we're approaching that that threshold when we have a very clear connection with the divine and they're giving us a lot of messages and a lot of signs so that we follow it um, so that we can develop a bit more Today I'm going to use a deck that I haven't used on this channel yet, and I'm also going to use mostly oracle cards for our messages, because they do have a deeper message sometimes than the regular tarot does. And I may be focusing more on that in the future. So again, thank you guys for following my channel. I do appreciate you. Let us begin. The first card that we have here is the Seer. This is... Um, representing Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, um, until she met Jesus, she was lost. She was in a world of that was very carnal um, and just trying to make ends meet. And there, there was no spirit there. There was no spirituality. She did not know of any. But then she meets Jesus and he, he protects her and then he teaches her a new way of thinking, a new way of being, a seer she has become because once the spirit descent into her she started to see things from a different perspective and she could then lead others so there's going to be either a very spiritual person that comes into your life within the next couple of weeks or you yourself are starting to see things from a different perspective and are becoming more enlightened with the divine spirit now a lot of people, they want to follow the path of divinity, to become more enlightened, to know what is the answers to the important questions. So we have arrived at the well. The well refreshes our spirit. It gives us what we have been asking for. We've been searching high and low, going on pilgrimages, um, trying to find the divine wherever it is which mostly it is within us so we have reached a place where where we can really dive in and get to know the connection that we have with the divine and the ascended masters where we are closer where we will receive more spirit more messages are you ready to dive in as you can see this card everyone is around the edge of the well looking in to see if anything can jump out at them any messages but you have to you have to um, dive in. You have to really dedicate yourself to what it is you're seeking because it isn't superficial. You can't one day say, okay, I want to know the answers. I want to know the divine. I want to get there. But then you, the next day you're, you're off and doing something else and you forget all about it. This is a, it's a life path. It's something that you start and it just doesn't go away. Once you open that door, you need to walk through it and you can't turn back. So it's saying, why have you wanted to become someone that knows 
that can see, that can help others, that can guide others, and then you're you're there at the edge and not taking that plunge. You're not believing in spirit, really. You're not letting go. You're not saying, okay, I'm here. I'm going to just go with it. I'm going to allow spirit to guide me. We're constantly trying to manipulate the outcome of the things that we are faced with on each, each and every day. But we're there now. Spirit is touching us and it's saying, you can become a disciple as well. You can spread the word. You have the power now to, and the knowledge, to speak to others, to help others wake up, to help others know of their divinity. You can become a disciple. You can follow my path. What are you afraid of? You're being asked as well to love your enemy. It is very difficult at times, and it's ego, really. And ego's here, too. Temptation, looking at your dark side, at your shadow side, at your demons, and and allowing them to, to have power over you. Loving your enemy. It's really easy to love your friends because they're on your side and they're always supportive. But how easy is it to love the ones that are attacking you constantly? A constant battle and attack from others that have absolutely no reason to attack you, whether it's at home, family, work, neighbors. It is then when we can truly become the disciple, when we truly can jump in and say, I am seeing the dark side in you, but then I'm also working on it myself. What is in it, in me still, that I need to work? Once you start to notice that and not allow uh, their demons or them to, to change the way you think and put you on a lower vibration, because right now you're vibrating higher. The higher we vibrate, the more the darkness is going to try to tempt us or bring us down to the lower levels, which we are trying to overcome that. So we need to somehow overcome when we are being attacked by others, uh, to lower our vibrations, to become angry, to become like them, which is very easy to do. Um, when we really analyze them, it's all fear. It's fear, it's control. Um, because you're shining so brightly, your light um, makes others jealous or makes them like notice you more because you're vibrating higher. So you need to be aware of that and look and see how you can help that person or the situations when they become very negative and the attack is so, so difficult to overcome. Look within, first of all and how you can work on yourself to look at that situation from the eyes of God or an angel or from the eyes of the divine, from your higher self, you know, how you can work it, to work on yourself, to overcome it, and how you can eventually try to fix that person or situation in your own way without it bringing you down to a level of, you know, where you lose it, you know, that, that's, that's the ego. You need to work it because you're going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted this week or throughout the next few weeks or years even. These readings, this reading in particular, this deck, is such a powerful message that it could take years for you to start to develop or get that close to what is, you know, the spirituality of it all that just keep it in mind because it may take a while before all of this comes about in your life. For some it could be closer, for some a little bit further, but it's a warning or not a warning itself but just it's a guide because it's trying to tell you you're coming into your own power, you're coming into your own divinity, you're, you're starting to touch upon it, but you need to let go and, and not be afraid because what you've been seeking, the thirst for knowledge or the thirst for closeness to the divine is right at your fingertips, but you need to allow it to come into your heart. You need to not be afraid. 
don't allow ego or temptations to derail you because you're really close at this time to become a disciple, to become someone that, that can then teach others, the seer, the disciples. It's all here on the table. But temptation, you're going to be looking at your demons, which you're going to be tempted of different things, either not breaking addictions. If you have addictions and you need to break them and know that it can happen, have faith, you know, pull from the energy that surrounds you, your guides, your angels, to help you with the addictions, to help you think more positive, to help you with the negative thoughts and energy, to dis dispel them, start looking into ways of doing that and practicing it every single day and positive affirmations. When you have that negative thought, push it away. Dig deep into prayer at that very second. As soon as you, your mind starts going, start praying. Whatever, a positive affirmation, our Father, whatever it is that helps center you because it will help bring you back into your center and into the present moment and into the connection with the divine that you don't want to break it. It's like a it's a wave, it's a feeling that you can get that flows right through you when you are connected with what, what is. And then you can reach a celebration, a point of a celebrating your, your achievements, you know, what you have done, because you'll have a clear connection. Pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams could be, like, amazing. You could be connecting with angels, with special guides that are... Um, putting you on different levels in the astral planes or in your dreams so that you're growing, so that you're healing, so that you're becoming more of a teacher, more enlightened. It'll happen gradual, little by little, but pay attention because that's what this reading is all about. It's about the self. It's about becoming what you're asking for and being able to overcome your fears and the temptation or the demons of others and seeing them for what they truly are because they could just be a reflection of yourself that you need to work on or just another test to overcome because it's all about testing testing of the soul lessons that we're learning and that we have to overcome it's all about a life review as well reviewing your life what have you done up to now? How have you grown spiritually, karmically? What has gone on? How have your relationships changed in your life? Your feelings about relationships. Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Temptations, addictions, negative thinking. Um, perhaps too much work and not enough connection to others, to relationships, to making them more um, positive, more of a bond, a deeper bond. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So if you've had arguments or conflicts with your loved ones, with um, significant others in the past, those things are all being resolved now so that you can let them go. You know, if they come back into your life, that's one thing. Um, if not, that's okay because something new is coming into your life. So you need to, to know that all the past is being resolved. That everything is opening up so that you can be refreshed. Start new. A new life. A new path. A new way of being. A new way of thinking. For some of you, creative writing might be important. Also, automatic writing. If you start writing and start meditating, you may become someone that automatically writes, and you may be surprised by the things that you'll put down on paper. For others, it's a review of your life, perhaps, of things that you want to write down on paper, things that you want to say to your higher self, to your guides, to loved ones that have passed, uh, you know, forgiveness, perhaps, or I love you. Uh, you can still communicate with the masters, with loved ones, with your guides. It's not evil. It's not something that's taboo. It's what we are and what we need to start developing. And you can see it any way you want to, but eventually in this lifetime or the next lifetime, you may touch upon it again. Because once you get on the path, you really never jump off the horse. You just stop at some point or some of you keep going but life review creative writing 
Making time to write down your thoughts in a journal or a pen or article in a book. It's very important sometimes to some people, they like to write. I like to paint. I like to write sometimes. I can write poetry. Um, I write it to my higher self or I'll write it to my twin flame or, you know, my my uh, relationship, my other half of a relationship or whatever you want to call it, my soulmates. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I write as well, just to just, just start writing and see what comes up because you may be surprised of the words that you write down and then you can write about your life as well to see what what happens. But you're being asked to write because it may help you develop a bit more. Also clearing your space, rearranging, getting rid of clutter. Um, it makes a lot of room for what's coming next, the new parts of your life that are going to start expanding. So you need to get rid of stuff that no longer serves a purpose, no longer is being used, give it to a friend, take it to goodwill, however you want to um, move it away from your life. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you and use feng shui. For some of you, you may, may like it, get into using feng shui to move things around in your room to where it works a little bit better for you or in your home, your place of employment, your vehicle. Some people have decorations, but use feng shui in order to make it more um, applicable for your life to where it helps you be more positive bring in more positive energy Archangel Sandal when your prayers have been heard and answered have faith victory is coming your way because of all of these things that you're doing in order to improve your life and improve yourself the quality of your life the quality of your friends the people around you if you're constantly with people that are negative, you need to break through that energy so you can either help enlighten them or move away from from people that are like that. Even if you love them, um, it's hard to continue to be brought down, especially when you're trying to, you know, become someone that's a bit more enlightened than this, you know, than, than the negative energy that seems to be around us all. And try not to pay too much attention to... Um, the hype, the news, because that too can bring you down. Okay, keep that in mind as well. All right, the interactive part of the reading has arrived. Let's see what it says to us. Here's what it said to me, surrender to your soul's path. Again, it's about surrendering. It's about allowing God to guide you or the divine, whatever name you want to put to it. Many names, one energy, one guidance. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Stay in the present. Get outdoors. Enjoy what nature has to offer while we still can. Follow divine guidance. Look for signs. Surrender. Surrender to what's happening, the things that are going on in your life so that you can learn from them and then move on. All right. A has already come out. <laughs> okay. I think B fell. I'm getting it. Thank God it didn't show itself or I would put it back in the deck. Now C. has a lot to say about it. I'm keeping it under control. For those of you that chose C, come on C. No, it doesn't want to come on. I'm going to have to pull it. What do you think guys? Should I pull it? Yeah? C. Bolt. I'm going to pull a angel oracle card for each one of you as well. Oops. I'll put that one aside. That one too. 
I don't want them to show themselves because then I feel like the cheating. A, B, and C. Yep, they came out easy. All right. Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So if you have children, if you have small children and you're around them, as you're nurturing them and you're showing them true love, don't you see how that helps you as well, how you nurture your own inner child that at some point may have been wounded and you're going to try to protect that little child so that it doesn't happen to them as well, but you're nurturing yourself and you have angels all around you. So nurturing your own inner child is going to be very helpful. Being kind to yourself, love yourself. If you're around children, love them as well as you would have liked yourself to be loved, your, your little child. Archangel Haniel, you're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Your sensitivity is going to be heightened as well as your intuition, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience. So be aware that you're going to become very sensitive to smells, to feelings, to the energy, to other people's thoughts, other people's emotions, their aura. Try to get out into nature to balance yourself with that, okay? Because it could become very, very powerful for some. For those of you that chose A, surrender stubbornness. Being stubborn, being set in your own ways is not helping you. It's holding you back. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself and what you're being asked to do because you're being asked to face your demons. You cannot be that rigid with yourself and with other people. You need to loosen up a little bit, let go, and let God. You are a leader. Act like a leader. We are being told that we are leaders. We need to lead. We need to heal. We need to help others. That's what we're doing here. That's why you're listening to my channel because it's what I am about. And it's what you can become as well if you listen and follow guidance, leadership. Archangel Gabriel, he's calling you. It's like a calling. It's the judgment card. Being The horn is being blown. You're being called out to do things for yourself and for other people. The people around you start with them. Your family, your neighbors, friends, people at work. Every little thing, every time you can inject something that has to do with spirit, do it. Do not be afraid. It is time for you to assume your leadership powers and position and lovingly guide others. We are being asked in many ways to do so. So, surrender being so stubborn because that's not going to help you. It's not going to help you to lead when you need to help others. Being stubborn and being stuck in your ways or talking the way that you do to other people does not help. Soften up a little bit. Feel the wings of angels touching you when you're going to speak to others and you'll see it. everything will be like brushed into like sweetness and softness but you have to center yourself and think about it for a second for those of you that chose B surrender unhealthy relationships with your own self and with others how do you speak about yourself when you look in the mirror what do you do are you addicted to something to food cigarettes alcohol drugs, whatever, it hurts you somehow, it changes the way that you are on a molecular level and then it, it hurts your thoughts, your mind, you need to stop those things and center yourself. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You have to watch out for that because it hurts you eventually. That negative energy is what I think I spoke of it before. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people, and you can do that. If you surround yourself with negative people, negativity is what will follow. If you look for and surround yourself by positive people that think positively, that have a positive path, that they're following, they're happy, that's going to rub off, you know. Either path will rub off. Remember, we are looking at our demons and we're trying to stay away or overcome the negativity from others, from ourself. So, remember your burning heart. Remember the fire in your heart for doing good for others. Try to stick with that. Clairaudience, you're going to become more sensitive to hearing 
messages that come from the divine. And I'm not saying all of a sudden you're going to start hearing voices in your head. You're going to hear it from other people. You're hearing it from me now. This is an example, okay? Some of you do have clear, a clear audience ability where you can hear your guides. All of a sudden you hear them say your name. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to go, what the fuck was that? Same thing. You'll hear your guides. You'll hear your angels. Some people can do that. You know, all of a sudden they'll say turn left instead of turn right. You're going to avoid something. But you need to follow the guidance when it happens. You need to pay attention. Your dreams as well can be talking to you. But if you don't wake up and write the stuff down, pen and paper, you're not going to remember. I know that happens to me a lot. <laughs> Last night there was a prayer I probably should have written down. And I didn't wake up. I couldn't wake up at that time in order to remember it. But never mind next time Archangel Zadkiel notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people because you're going to hear it so there's going to be guidance in order to help you break away from the negative people relationships and things that you know no longer serve you but out of fear or out of commodity or out of not wanting to stir the waters you stay now you can either bring that person up to a higher vibration that you're with or you can leave it because you lowering your vibration is not allowed anymore. You need to break away from that. And I know it's not easy to do, but it can be done. I'm not speaking out of my butt. I have done all of these things. For those of you that chose C, surrender your fear of change. <laughs> it's like a connection. The cards are all connected. I don't know if you see it like I see it, but I'm saying it, I'm seeing it, and there's the next card. Surrender your fear of change. It's not easy. But if you see it, like the girl on the horse here, a new dawning, a new adventure, a new way of thinking, a new way of seeing the world, of feeling yourself positive, you know? that you're going in the right direction, that you're doing something good for yourself, for humanity. We're here to do that. We just have forgotten because of the denseness of being in flesh and of what goes on in the world and so much darkness. That we're trying to break through all of that darkness and help. Eventually, light will win. It just takes a while. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, a relationship, or if you fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So, As you move through your changes, remember, when you're afraid, all is well. You're going in the right direction. Remember that. Remember my words. Remember the card. It's such a beautiful card, a beautiful white horse, a beautiful morning dawning nice light beauty that comes from the earth go outside connect with mother earth ground yourself comfort Archangel Azrael I am with you in your time of need helping you heal your heart okay some of you uh, may have lost someone recently or have lost a relationship or have really lost your way when it comes to all these changes and you're really fearing as you're moving ahead or changes that could be happening um, aging parents which is something very difficult to go through but remember you never really lose your loved ones they're always still with you just in spirit waiting for you to attain that same vibration so you can always talk to them but we must move ahead because it's all part of the lessons that we're here to learn so don't be afraid call your angels call your guides to get closer to you and give you more support and they will call the divine to send a legion of angels to help support you and they will they will come people will start appearing and it's like what well, you just called them and they came so you can see the divine in action if only you start paying attention I love you guys I hope you've enjoyed this reading I know it's deeper than you'll ever know even myself but that's just the way it is today know that I love you and I talk to you from my heart if any of you would like a private reading on any subject please contact me via my email riseatarot gmail.com love you talk to you again next week bye for now <laughs>